All right, Paul. So get this because of the rain and everything. <laughs> We've had to build like a little wooden path because the former owners had laid down a bunch of marble. And uh, yeah, that's a really great idea in a wet environment. So I got sick of slip, slipping and almost breaking my friggin' neck. Anyway, you can see I put in the windows. I did a nice overhang. I've got gutters, but I wanted to paint and then put them back up. Um, the downspout. And then that upper thing uh, is going to have a door. And I'm almost build, finished building this first floor door, which is going to slide. Um, and in fact, here it is. So I'm going to do a big glass, stained glass panel on the top. That's going to be wood, wood, that's already wood. Um, those are just braces. i got to put the metal on it. Um, and then, so the first floor is, you know, way more roomier than it looks right now, as you, if you remember. Um, and I had to do these crazy steep steps, but I did too many, um, and they're too close together. So you can see they kind of bite into each other, so it makes it difficult. So I'm going to spread them apart. I'm going to just pull that down and redo it. But anyway, so we're going upstairs. And here it is. That's another window I'm going to cut in. So I have light in the um, back. And then I've got plywood here. I'm about to enclose the ceiling with insulation um, but it's a really cool space Dolly and Dobby are barking at my neighbors um, who are walking their dog Dobby Dolly knock it off <laughs> anyway um, so I didn't want to lose the uh, the light and the ability to swing that open and just enjoy some daylight so I fabricated this door and um, I'm about to drop in the two glass panels. I designed it so I could use Ikea glass shelves, which are tempered, um, to inset. And then I'm going to frame on the outside to trap it. And I'm going to screw it in in a way that if they get broken, I can um, unscrew it and replace it. As you can see, the door is thick. Um, and then this will be the inside. It's going to be smooth. And I thought it might be fun to do a mural or something on it. Um, so I'm almost done with the door. And as you can see, I cut in um, two full windows. And uh, I'm going to do a trap door. So the dust from the first floor doesn't come up. But you can see I still have to close every one of those dam openings back there. But I did some research and found out that if you don't, want mold to build up inside an enclosed um, insulated roof area you got to put in these vents um, so that you're not creating it airtight because airtight will result in black mold so uh, good to know right so it's really solid if you remember it was pretty wobbly before um, and I'm even toying with the concept of after I set the stone blocks down and do a little roof off this big door here um, of maybe um, adding a little extension off the front of this. So you see I got my four by fours as so I'm going to um, do a deck off the front door um, that's covered and then uh, that'll give me the space to feed big pieces of lumber through a table saw because obviously the studio isn't big enough for that and that window is going to go in there in that wall so I don't lose that light because my desk will be right here um, so I wanted a window to my right and I wanted a window to my left and all the way over here because you know daylight here is awful um, so that's it that's how it's coming together once I've got this done in the spring, our next challenge is going to be to rip all this up and um, do a much nicer garden. But as I discovered, um, underneath all of that apparent dirt is actually chunks of 
old kitchen countertops that were cut in stone um, that broke because the former owner was friends with the guy who owned a stone cutting um, place that did counters. So I might even harvest some of that rock and just use my, my uh, stone cutting saw or tile cutting saw to uh, create some interesting things with it. So that's it. The crows come and harass me every day for food. Oh, and there's my winch. So the reason why I did this door here, um, it'll be able to swing out this way. It'll be hinged here so that I can winch big furniture and stuff up or down, swing it into this room, drop it down, and then just shut the door. So that's the plan. And it has come in handy because that's how I get these big pieces of uh, wood or, or that fabricated door that I created. That's got insulation inside of it, um, by the way. So that once I create a door jam in here, um, it'll be good to go. And then I just have that last little bit to enclose. And then I'm done, man. So, but it's, it really came together. Um, and I super duper appreciate your help in making this happen. So I love you. And I uh, hope you're having a great New Year's. And uh, hang in there, man. Talk to you soon.